Hello, welcome to all. Today we see the control structure part 2. Already we learn if if else statement for the continuation we learn the following topic. While iteration or looping constructor sorry iteration or looping statement here we follow while for loop and then nested loop jump statement break continue pass statement what is iteration it is a three more question to you iteration or loop or used in situation when the user need to execute a block of code several of time or till the condition is satisfied it means one condition is fixed it should be repeated sometime a loop statement allowed to execute a statement or group of statement multiple times it means multiple times the loop can be repeated for example if you print a number or calculate number 1 to 10 it execute 10 time we simply call this iteration and then while loop the what is while loop it's a here we follow the syntax now the syntax for this uh, three more question to you explain while loop syntax the syntax is while condition statement block one else statement block two it means while checking the condition if it is true it go to the block one if it is false it go to the block two it means alternative way of if else statement this is the alternative way of if else statement then what the how it is executed what is while loop? It's a three more question. In the while loop, the condition is any valid Boolean expression returning true or false. For example, if we check a number, if i is greater than 10 or age is greater than 18, like this. So the else part of the while is option. Part of the while, the statement block one is kept executed till the condition is true. If the else part is written, it is executed when the condition is tested for You see the syntax, very simple. The first check the condition. The condition is true, it go to the block 1. If the condition is false, it go to the block 2. Okay, then next for loop. The for loop is the most compatible loop. It is used for the entry check loop. If the syntax is for counter variable in sequence statement block 1 else option block statement block 2 the next one range statement is a three more question explain range statement the syntax of range is as follows range start stop step start initial value stop final value step increment value the nested loop structure is a three more question a loop repeated between one and another is called as nested. For example, if you write while loop or for loop any one, more than one loop you write. In our Python program, we simply say as nested loop. One can place a while within another while, for within another for, within while and while within for to construct such a nested loop. For example, based upon the statement, the loop structure can be explained here. Then jump statement. Simply in jump statement in Python is used to unconditionally transfer the control from one part of the program to another. Unconditionally transfer the control from one part to another is a jump statement. It's a three keyword can be used. Break, continue, pass. First one break statement. The break statement terminate the loop containing it. Control the programming flow to the statement immediately after the body of the loop this means very simple break break terminate the loop containing it the next one continue the continue statement unlike the break statement is used to skip the remaining part of the loop and start within the next iteration the syntax is continue so three more question explain continue statement the last one pass statement the pass statement in Python program is a null statement. The pass statement when executed by the interpreter, it is completely ignored. If it is a null statement, it should be so the computer, the, com the interpreter can be ignored. Nothing happen when the pass is executed if the result is no operation. That's very simple. The 
example is the syntax is pass now you watch the carefully watch the live demo given listen based upon this part 2 i now i show you the live demo kindly follow this one example number 66 example for while statement now i give the file name as cs66.py so an example to you now i type the program and then now execute it you see the execution run run model 5 this is the result if you compare the book the result is as it is on your book if you refer your book page number 75 in your book okay then the next one next one example like this you do you never laptop 6.6 6.7 6.8 6.9 6.10 6.11 6.12 and then 6.14 6.15 and 6.16 and 6.17 for the time concept i now go to the 6 6.16 program you refer book to page number 84 example number 616 program to illustrate the use of the continuous statement inside the for loop it's a program in your book i type it you see the result jump statement end of the program okay my kind advice is for a time being concept i simply enter the demo should be given to the three programs only just read the powerpoint carefully and do the exercise properly thank you